and I am the youthful mama today on my channel and beauty product uh, and makeup products uh, what is wrong with me seriously uh, okay for the fifth for the 20th time hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Melissa and I am the youthful mama finally I said it right so today on my video on my channel <laughs> why can't I speak I'm not even tired what's wrong with me I need a drink I can't deal with this okay let's do this let's do this hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Melissa and I am the Youthful Mama. In today's video I want to share with you guys my must-have absolute favorite winter products. I have a combination of skincare products I want to show you and makeup. Some of these products are products I've used um, from summer so I've used them from last year and I'm still continuing to use them this winter because they're really really good and they're perfect for dry skin. So if you want to find out how I keep my skin looking healthy through winter, then just keep on watching. First, first product I want to show you guys is a Tatcha. It's a cleansing oil and I absolutely love it. It's a one-step Camellia cleansing oil. This brand is quite pricey. It's available at Mecca. But some of their products are really worth it. Like this illuminating mist. Uh, it's a illumin sorry, Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This product and this cleanser. Oh, what is wrong with me? And this cleansing oil are amazing. So I I am tempted to buy their moisturizing cream but the reason why I've held back is their price they are so expensive like I think they're like between two and three hundred dollars I'll use it if someone gave it to me as a gift <laughs> or if I somehow got it free but things that I can afford or I can justify I buy and I really wanted to try these two products so I bought these and they are my must-have cleanser a must-have dewy luminous mist for winter so you want to get rid of that dry flakiness on your skin then the dewy mist is going to do that it's not a setting spray okay it's not gonna make your makeup last longer it's not gonna set your makeup I don't think it says set but I know for a fact that it doesn't work for me no it doesn't it just says um, mist spray like it's just a spray it gives you a glow it's a finishing spray so the difference between a finishing spray and a setting spray is a setting spray is going to set your makeup and make your makeup last longer and obviously a finishing spray is just what your end result is going to look like so if you buy a mattifying finishing spray then that means you want your finish overall look to be matte Whereas this one gives you dewiness. Does that make sense? So yeah, finishing spray, setting spray. Make sure you read what the bottle says. Don't just grab it when you go, oh cool, finishing spray. I'm going to grab that. Oh, it's going to make my makeup last longer. No, it's not going to work like that. It has to say setting if you want it to set. The cleanser I love because in winter I don't like using, well actually all year round, I don't like using soapy products like, um, I don't like gels, I don't like, um, I'm not a real big fan of creams, but I do use a couple of cream cleansers. I'm not a fan of, a fan of foam cleansers. Try and stay away from foam cleansers, and if you do use it, just, um, yeah, don't, um, don't buy something that's harsh, like try and get a really good quality product. That's one of the reasons why I don't tend to buy skincare in drugstores because your skin is very very delicate and it, it deserves goodness it deserves a good product so 
I go for oil. My other favorite um, cleanser is a Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. So I don't have it with me, but it comes in a big flat tub like a jar. And um, I'm just showing you this because, yeah, it's a jar. <laughs> um, and it's about this big, like it's really big, like it's not like this. This is just a mini little thing. Um, and you put it on dry skin and same with this you put it on dry skin you put it all over your makeup I have a lot of makeup on now and I wish I could show you but I really don't want to wreck my makeup <laughs> I like it um, but you smother it all over your face including your eyes let it sit on your eyelashes let it get the waterproof mascara off and leave it on for a minute or two and then wash it away with lukewarm water the same with the Clinique balm um, and these two oils will literally just melt your makeup away you can actually see so if you've got a really bright red lipstick on just put the oil on your lips smother it around and you can see your lipstick just literally melting away and then once you've washed it then you can go in with a proper facial cleanser another favorite of mine this winter and this is something not like the toucher toucher this is something that I have been using, I think, for about a year now. That is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1. It is a primer, a setter, and a refresher. The good thing about this is, well, number one, it does everything. So you can spray it on before your makeup, and you can spray it on after your makeup. It can also be sprayed on at any time of the day. Say it's in the middle of summer, or like I said before, it's, it's great for winter because it's hydrating you just feel like your skin feels a little bit tight and a little bit dry or in summer you just feel dehydrated just spray this on spritz it all over your face and it just feels so well it smells beautiful and it just feels so hydrating so it's um it's actually made of coconut oil oh uh, sorry coconut water which you obviously know coconut water is healthy for you so it's good for your skin as well the other product again in the same range is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. Now this one obviously is in a uh, like a, a cream so it's not a spray don't put it on after your makeup don't put it on throughout the day if you've already got makeup on put it on beforehand it um, it helps your makeup to stay longer and the great thing about it is it also hydrates your skin at the same time so all the products I'm using at the moment are all hydrating products um, with the exception of a couple of products but most of them I'm showing you for this winter are hydrating products now for those of you who do buy drugstore makeup and I do buy drugstore makeup too there are a few hydrating um, products there just check out Australis and also NYX um, and I believe Maybelline have some pretty good stuff too but just check what you're buying and make sure it says hydrating as well another product I'm really loving at the moment is cream blushes or liquid blushes I don't own liquid but I did purchase these two Stilla cream blush this one here is in the color Lilium and this one is called PNA. Now, Lilium to me looks like it would match my skin better. However, when I opened it up and I tested it on the back of my hand, I found that it is more suitable for um, people with fairer skin tones. So I bought it to put on my clients and I'm gonna use that um, more on more mature skin and just anyone who wants a dewy kind of makeup look. Now the PNA is the one that I use and it just kind of looks more like a, um, a coral type colour. Kind of like a coral brown. So they're the two. Absolutely love these two blushes. And sometimes I have actually mixed the two together but I'll never use Lilium on its own. It's just a little bit too rosy and pink for me I'm not you guys know I'm not into rosy pink type blushes but yeah that's another product that I like to use to get the dewy look number six 
on my list of must-have winter products is this tiny little tube right here. This is Clinique Pep Start Night Lip Mask. I know, who's ever heard of a lip mask? I have never heard of it. So I went online and I was typing in uh, facial mask for dry skin and hydrating mask and then I went on a hunt for a lip hydrating lip conditioner. I think that's what I typed in when I was searching and this just popped up and it said night mask and I thought what a great idea. We put a mask on our face for the night um, and in winter you will use a hydrating mask but notice we never ever put it on our lips. Like when we put a mask we usually go around our lips. I don't know about you guys but I, I, I generally don't put my mask on my lips. So yeah when I saw this I thought oh jackpot I'm gonna buy this and I did and it's almost finished I um, I got a little bit overboard I probably shouldn't put it on as much as I do I sometimes use it through the day <laughs> um, just because I love it so much it goes on really thick and a little bit sticky but if you're not into that you're not using it during the day you're gonna go to sleep so you know don't feel weird about having super glossy lips you're not gonna wear it out in public it's not designed for that you're supposed to you resting you're supposed to let your skin rejuvenate and sleep just like you are and you wake up feeling amazing so when I wake up I feel a little bit of the product still on my lips but generally it just feels soft and plump and smooth and not dry at all so yeah, so yeah this is another one of my huge favorites this winter just discovered it like a month ago it's Another one of my favourites this winter, I have just discovered this Alpha H Liquid Gold 24 Hour Moisture Repair Moisturising Cream. It is designed for day and night, but I find that it's a little bit too intense during the day. So I will do one pump during the day and just put like a really thin amount. But during the night, I will go ahead and do the two pumps because it does recommend two pumps. I love their packaging. Alpha H is probably now my favorite skincare product um, by skincare brand I fell in love with Skin Institute and then I started loving Aspect which I still kind of do I, I, I buy Aspect um, but Alpha H I swear every time I buy their products I am just never disappointed they always exceed my expectations so when you find a product that says for dry dehydrated skin you know you expect it to be like intense and this is intense worth it it is like 83 or 85 dollars but if you've tried cheaper brands and you find that it's just not doing the job and you're buying it again and you're wasting money what is the point you're wasting your money think of all the times you've bought cream and it hasn't done what you want it to do but you think there's nothing better or it's you know other brands are more expensive so you just keep buying the same product when you could have just been buying something that actually works in the first place so Alpha H thank you for inventing this product you guys are amazing I want to, I want to do a whole skincare routine on Alpha H products so yeah I'll stock up on more of their products because I'm a huge huge fan I have a couple of other things of theirs and I will show you in a skincare routine next time because my current skincare routine has definitely changed since my last skincare video but yeah um, one of the best creams I think I've ever used for winter in my life I'll let you know if I can continue using it in summer it may be a little bit too intense for me in summer but we'll see how we go now another winter product that I am loving is this Alpha H hydration I think it's essential hydration concentrate so it is a serum and um, I will put this drop on my lips when I get out the shower along with my face and my retinol and then I will let the two products soak into my skin before I go in with my night cream this product has changed my life obviously the cream is amazing and like I said it's intense and it's it's you know it's perfect for winter and it exceeds my expectations but I, I still don't believe it would be as good if I hadn't used this with it um, I've been using this 
serum now for probably April, yeah, since about, no, maybe since autumn. So maybe about five months I've been using it. And um, we kind of got winter early this year. It got cold really early. So I started using it early and it makes a huge difference. When my skin feels really dry, um, I'll exfoliate and I'll put this on straight away. And I, I actually do use it every single night with retinol. Um, but especially after exfoliating, I'll definitely like pack this on. It says to use three to four drops. So you just use how much you want. But um, I'll list everything on my blog. Okay, so you guys have got to go to www.theyouthfulmama.com um, and I'll list where you can buy all these products and how much they cost. Another one of my favourites this winter is this beautiful palette here by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is the Soft Glam palette. Whoops, I just dropped the brush. Um, it is an oldie, like it's been around for ages, but I only got it like, uh, I think like two months ago. I absolutely love the colours this winter, just because in winter I tend to go with a lot of browns. Actually, <laughs> wait a minute, I go with browns all the time, like all year round. It's like glitter, bronze, gold, copper, metallic. Yeah, I, I do it all year round, but this winter I wanted something a little bit different just to add some colour into uh, my makeup routine and so I love this palette. I love the little mauve type colours mixed with the, uh, the the golds and then also this kind of sunburnt colour here and this one up here more like um, a red brick type colour. It just kind of adds a little bit something different during winter. Also the pigments are amazing like I don't normally do pigment swatches <laughs> but this colour here, like look at that pigment, holy moly, <laughs> look how dark that is. So a little tiny bit goes a long way, you really don't need to put a ton on your brush. And this little, this one here, which is Dusty Rose, which is kind of like a, a, a light movie kind of colour, I love this one here. Looks not as dramatic on my lighter skin but on darker skin it looks amazing anyway I want you guys to check this out when you get the opportunity it is amazing um, it's just nice to add a little bit of um, something soft and pretty during winter you know we we tend to wear a lot of black in winter I noticed everyone's got black coats black pants um, black long sleeve shirts just Everyone just kind of avoids white and bright colours in winter and I really don't know why. You don't have to avoid colour in winter. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the pigment on these ones here. Like, look at this gold here. So pretty. Look at that. That is gold. Amazing. So pigmented. However, I did notice with um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes is her eyeshadows, and I know some YouTubers have said this before, um, that they there is quite a little bit of fallout. But honestly, her pigment is amazing, and fallout's nothing. All you need to do is do your eyeshadow before you do the rest of your your face, or you could do your foundation. And then pack on a lot of um, translucent powder under your eyes here. And then you do your eyeshadow. So that way if you've got fallout, it lands on the translucent powder and you can just brush it away. So there are ways to get around it. It's it's not a big fault. It's something very minor. I mean, if you're going to fuss about um, fallout, then you may as well fuss about the packaging. Because the packaging is this beautiful um, velvety type material. And everyone knows... You know, your hands get so dirty during makeup application that the packet, like the, the actual case, gets really dirty. And it's a disappointment because you really want your um, your palettes to stay beautiful so you can display them on your table like I do. Um, but yeah, you guys have got to try um, and put a little bit of colour into your face. Now, I am almost 40 years old. Like, I will be 37 in a couple of days. And I wear colour. So don't be afraid and don't think, oh, I'm too old to wear eyeshadow. I'm too old to wear colour. You're not. No one's too old. Glam it up. If you feel like you've got too much eyeshadow and it just does not look right, then add lashes. You know, a lot of older women tend to not pay attention to their lashes. 
they um, they're not big fans of it they don't even curl their eyelashes so get a curling um, eyelash curler get some really good mascara uh, maybe buy a mascara uh, primer and um, and match your eyelashes to your um, your colorful eyeshadow and if you still feel like it's too much then go and do your brows because you you need everything to match if you're gonna have dramatic eyeshadow then you need to have dramatic eyelashes and eyebrows to match and then you'll feel all in sync and it won't feel so overboard next on my list is a mask this one here is the glam glow youth mud I have makeup on my fingers um, and the reason why it's a little tub is because I purchased a smaller tub for I think $25 and I got to use this mask once a week for four weeks so I, I I used it four times maybe even five and I absolutely love it this is the first mask I've ever used that has left my skin looking literally squeaky shiny like it looked just um, I don't know how to describe it usually when you've got no makeup on you just wash your face it kind of looks really matte and a little a little dry this looked shiny my face my forehead my cheeks it looked shiny and it was so baby smooth it's an exfoliating uh, mask so it says youth mud exfoliator and the big the normal size tub is just like this big I can't remember how big it is but um, it's like eighty six dollars and I believe it's so worth it like uh, literally I have used all of it <laughs> um, best mask I've ever used I, I thought it was like what is the big hype you know behind the the glam glow mud mask I thought oh, it's just another gimmick for YouTube you know they're just getting in on it they're making money from it but no you guys it's really really good I haven't tried any of the others this is the only one I've used and I, I've started I started using it in summer and being winter I lost my brightness and my shine so I used it I think the last two times uh, last week and I think like a fortnight before that and it's just as good in winter because of it just took away that dullness that you get in winter and literally just made my skin so shiny and it just glowed like it was I don't know how to describe how much I love this product. So yeah, this is um, 15 grams, and I believe the big tub is 30. No, it's not 30. I'll double check and I'll, I'll put it in the description below. But um, yeah, you guys have got to try the Glam Glow. I know you, you might not want to try the black one, um, but they've got a purple one and a silver one. You got to try their brand because they are so good. Like next on my list is my favorite foundation at the moment you guys have seen me use this before it is the um, Anaz She Glow foundation now it says She Glow but it's not really She it's still full coverage um, it it's She if you use one layer but it's buildable so you can make it like obviously thicker and full coverage so the Nars um, color that I'm using at the moment is Seracuse and it is a little bit too dark for me as soon as I used it the first time I knew straight away I'm gonna have to mix this with something so you can either mix it with a lighter shade um, obviously if your foundation is a little bit too dark um, but I just prefer the illuminator or the oil because number one the oil hydrates me and number two the illuminator just gives me more of that dewy glow but either way I know I need to mix it in with something because it's just a tiny tiny little bit too dark for me but it's my favorite foundation at the moment I do love Laura Mercier um, silk cream foundation you guys know I always brag about that in every video I think I do um, I do love it but sometimes I just want something different and um, and this is easier for me to get access to because it's available at Mecca and Mecca is just local for me uh, whereas Laura Mercier as you already know is no longer distributed in Australia so it's very difficult to get it unless you want to pay for shipping so yeah at the moment this is my go-to favorite foundation I just love the radiant natural finish you guys know that I love a glow I love um, a radiant radiant dewy finish and I just love anything that looks natural on the skin so that's it guys that is my 10 must-have 
skincare and beauty products for this winter 2018. Um, don't forget to visit my website at www.theyouthfulmama.com to find out where to buy these products and um, and how much they cost. And yeah, I'll run. I'll put the whole list on the website for you guys so you do, you don't miss out. Um, I hope you guys like this video, and I hope you like my backdrop. Um, I thought I would use a backdrop. I thought I'd go something a little bit glamorous. I did my makeup today, and I um I felt like a little bit of glam for the day, and so I went with a glamorous background. But anyway, um. Thank you so much for watching. I love sharing my favorite beauty products for winter with you guys. And you guys know I just love talking about makeup in general. <laughs> I think I talk about it all the time. Like even when I'm not on camera. <laughs> um, my friends and my family know that. So yeah, this is just a little extra bonus for me. But anyway, if you like this video, uh, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Have a good day, guys. Guys, bye.